Hi there, it's Ivan and you are watching Puzzle Guy channel. Today I want to show you quite an interesting puzzle. It was designed by Hajime Katsumoto and made by Jean-Claude Constantin. Difficulty level of this puzzle is 8 out of 10 and the object is to fit all 16 uh, pieces inside the frame. And this puzzle is not a regular jigsaw puzzle since it has 10 corner pieces and uh, you have to put all 16 pieces in a square shape so that you can fit them inside the frame but uh, the frame has top layer made of acrylic and uh, it covers almost the whole area of the frame leaving you just a tiny space in the middle two by two where you can fit all your uh, jigsaw pieces and you have to do it in a correct order uh, to fit them all inside the frame. So I, I'm expecting this puzzle to be quite a difficult one and I'm gonna spend some time uh, solving it. If you like frame jigsaw puzzle and you want to buy it, link as always is gonna be in a video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. Okay, let's try to solve the framed jigsaw puzzle. I'll start my stopwatch and what I have to do, first of all, I have to remove all the parts from the frame and to do it, I have to flip it upside down and now I have to figure out the way how to remove them. That is going to be a pretty difficult puzzle since, first of all, I have to fit all the parts inside and second, I have to figure out the order in which I have to fit all the parts inside. It is even difficult to remove these parts that are already inside, so that's not an easy one. Okay, so what is going to be my next part that I can move? As you can see that is quite difficult to figure out Okay, this one is rotating. I can remove it quite easy. And now I have only seven parts left. That is gonna be not so difficult to remove. I hope so. These three I can move and remove them. Okay. And the last four parts. These are not going to be difficult. Okay, so now I have to figure out the way how to put all of them back inside. And the last piece that I supposed to fit will go through this opening. But what is interesting, I have to figure out how to uh, put the outer parts they're gonna create the, uh, the frame inside the frame. And that's gonna be quite difficult. Okay, maybe what I have to do is to put the frame aside and try to figure out the way how to put all these parts without the frame just the simplest way. The colors of all parts make me want to do it like dark color, white color, but probably that is not the correct way. Probably I have to put it in completely different ways, but let's see. So maybe I will be able to do something like this. The top row is going to be this one. If I pu push it down, I will be able to put this piece, move this one, remove it. Okay, so that's not going to be difficult to fit this row. Probably I can do something similar with the bottom row. Or maybe I'm wrong since I don't see any more such parts but still I can try to do something so let's see this goes there or maybe the bottom part can be done with squares 
doesn't seem difficult at all. One square is going to be here. If I move it up, I can probably even take it apart. Okay, let's see what else I can do. These two on this side. And this part goes here. And maybe this one in here. Yeah, but I don't think I will be able to move these two parts in such a way that I can remove. Oh, I can move this up and remove this piece. Yeah, probably it is possible to do like this. So let's see what else I can do with the rest parts. And now I see that I have a problem since I can fit these parts, but these two not quite what I'm looking for. I can't fit them here. So I probably can fit this one, but there is going to be a gap. And I can't fit this one. Okay. Let's try to figure out another way how to put them in such a way that I can create a nice beautiful pattern. Yeah, probably I just have to figure out the regular way how to put all the parts together and then try to figure out the way how to put them inside the frame. So for now it looks like I've been able to find some kind of solution. Let's see if this solution works. No, since I can't no, I probably can remove this piece. But what is going to be next? I can't remove this piece. I can't move all other pieces. I can't remove this either. Okay, this is not the correct way to put all the parts together. Since think that's going to be not only one piece that I have to fit through the opening at the very end, but maybe even two pieces. Or at least it's supposed to be like a, a row here, which I can then move a little bit to the right to start removing all other parts. How many corner pieces do I have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten corner pieces. Okay. And two pieces like these, and a lot of pieces like these. Maybe these two belong together. At least they look quite interesting. I'll keep them aside. Okay, this definitely can be right in the middle, since first of all I can remove this piece, I can remove this piece and I can remove this piece as well. I can just put them through this gap. And now maybe I have to create the rest of the shape around this parts. Let's see if it is possible. Here I can fit any piece, it doesn't really matter which one I put there. Uh, if I put this one here, this one goes right in here. Here I will be able to fit this piece. That doesn't look bad at all. So probably this piece is useful right here. I can move something like this around. This goes in here. This piece fits here. This piece fits here. But again, I have only one piece that is not so good here. Okay. I'll try 
try to fit everything right inside the tray so let's see if I put it here I can move it down so I have to make I can create like four piece line something like this using just these corner pieces and I can fit them inside quite easy okay then I will be able to fit something like this since I have a lot of corner pieces I have used them a lot okay let's Keep it this way for now. I'm not gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, I will be able to move this piece and if I put this, no, I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah, and I will be able to remove this piece if I move it to the right. So these two look pretty interesting. I keep them like this for now and now i have to create the rest on the other side it's gonna be four by two let's see what i can do and it's supposed to be made in such a way that where the gap i will be able to remove two parts pretty easy maybe something like this But how to connect all these parts now? Yeah, that doesn't look right. I can put these two together. I can put, for example, this corner piece here, this corner piece on top. But then these two parts, they are not quite nice in here. I can put them like this, but there is no way I can fit something here since these two parts are completely different. That's gonna be second square, maybe. I can put them like this but if it's gonna help me so for example now i have a lot of these parts which can't be together okay so probably i can put them like this this goes in here this goes in here and these two are right here okay that creates something but if it's gonna help me so let's see i can remove this piece that's not gonna be a problem i can move this piece up but i can't remove it that's gonna be an issue maybe it's supposed to be kind of different way i have to rotate it here and let's try again if i remove this piece i can move this up but i can't remove it it is not enough since it's gonna be held by the acrylic piece okay but that is quite interesting idea Maybe I can create something different with these parts. Maybe I can do something. No, I can't do something like this. I can't fit these two parts together. But that was quite interesting idea. And 
again if I remove this piece. Oh, that is interesting. If I remove this piece, I will be able to do it. That is not the problem. I can move this up and remove this piece. Then I can remove this piece. Next, I can move this one, remove this piece and this one. So I have to put them back so that I know where all the parts are. Then what I can do. The next, probably I can even rotate this one and remove it. Okay, let's keep it like this. Then this goes down and I can remove it piece by piece and then this one. Okay, let's try to put everything inside and let's hope my idea is going to be correct. Yeah, this may be not so easy to fit. Let's see. This goes here, this goes here. Yeah, about this piece. I have to put it with this one. Yeah, that goes here. This goes in here and I can move it to the right. I can fit almost the whole square like this. And that fits right in here. Oh, I think, I think that I'm kind of close to solving the puzzle. That is nice. So let's try to fit these parts inside. I can put this one. Yeah, there is a problem with this piece. Okay, maybe that's supposed to be like this. Then goes this one. Oh yeah, I think that I'm done. Yep, 30 minutes, okay. Frame jigsaw puzzle is solved. That was quite interesting one. Probably I could do it much quicker and better, but it took me 30 minutes. That was my attempt to solve the framed jigsaw puzzle. As I told at the very end when I solved the puzzle that probably I could solve it much quicker and while editing the solution part of the video, I found that I was very close, so close to solving the puzzle at about five minutes, but I didn't realize it and kept looking for another solution. And also at about 17 minutes, I was very close to solving the puzzle again, but I had just to switch places of couple of parts, but nope, I still uh, kept looking for different solution, but eventually I've been able to find, uh, find it after almost 30 minutes. Quite an interesting puzzle and I really enjoyed solving it. Uh, I like such kind of puzzles where you can see everything what is happening and you have just to use your logic, you don't have to find some hidden uh, compartments or hidden mechanics uh, to figure out the way how to solve it here. Everything is straightforward, just look at it, use your logic and you will be able to solve it. Great puzzle! If you like this puzzle and uh, you want to buy it, as I told you, link in the video description and if you enjoyed my video, enjoyed my solving, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time!